Here's a sound recording test. I'm ready to shoot a jutu video. Shoot a jutu video. If you're anything like us, you've been creating your content in the same location with the same method and the same setup for a long time now, and you're ready to spice things up or try something new. You're ready to get up and on the go. You're ready to start making fun videos to complement your podcast, or you're ready to add some movement to your videos, or maybe you want to record some interviews in remote locations. So in this video and over the next few videos, we're gonna be taking a look at affordable gear, different setups and video ideas to help you get creative and try some new things with your content. And I'm really excited about today's video because we are gonna be creating a pro video, audio and lighting setup that's portable, that you can hold in your hand, that you can mount on things or that you can use as a tripod. And after we set it all up together, I'm gonna to see if I can get Veronica to try it out. So let's get unboxing and setting up. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve, and on our channel, every week we make videos about podcasting, video creation, social media hacks, and more. So if that's something you vibe on, subscribe to our channel and come be part of our crazy creative community. So every time we shoot a video, the setup can take a really long time. We have to set up the camera, we have to check the background, we check the lighting, we have to pull focus, we set up the audio, and then we have to sync the audio and the video separately. Take one. And also, we usually keep our camera on a tripod. Well, we really want to spice things up and we want to get on the go. And Veronica especially wants to have this handheld setup where she can move around and not have to rely on a camera operator or somebody there to help her make her videos. So we wanted to figure out a solution that we could record video and audio at the same time while still getting really high quality and a nice tripod setup where we could also have some lighting on the tripod that can be lightweight enough to hold, but also we can mount on the things and use as a regular tripod if we needed to. So, to save the day, we have Joby, and today we're going to unbox this Joby Gorilla Pod. This is the 3K, and we'll be using these fun panel mini lights that are like the size of a credit card, one on each side. And then with this little handy cable here, it's a balanced XLR cable to an eighth inch cable. We're gonna use this, the Sennheiser MKE 600, and we're gonna plug that into the Canon M50. This is gonna be a really cool setup. I'm really excited. What do you say we get going? Okay, well, let's start by unboxing this Gorilla 3K Pro Rig. I've been wanting to buy one of these puppies for a long time, so it's like Christmas for me right now. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that, that looks nice. What's going on here? What is this? Does this come with instructions? Ooh, I'm guessing this is the head. Is this head fluid? This looks like it might be some kind of a fluid head. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds good. Well, these must be the the dangly side hanging arm things. Ooh. So this looks pretty straightforward here. Let's see. Boom. Okay, okay. We screw this thing. Oh, we don't have to screw it, it just goes on there. Let's see. I'm guessing these go into here like this. Does it matter if it's red or black facing down? I don't know. Look at that. It's like a little attachment. Ooh, I'm loving how lightweight this is already. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There, look at that ball socket in there, I love it. I absolutely love it already. Okay, what's this thing? What is this thing? I don't know what this thing is. It's covered in a lot of plastic. So these are optional if you need these things or not. So you can turn this little dial here, and when you do, this little guy comes off. Now that this little guy's off, we can plug this into, or screw this into our camera. In our camera, before we screw that in, we wanna make sure we have our battery and our SD card. I've also already formatted the SD card, and I've set up the camera on auto settings. Um, the Canon M50 has a really cool auto setting here that will prioritize anything you want it to. You can add looks to it and all sorts of cool things like that so that it will always stay in focus when you are running and gunning. Oh, don't eat the silica gel. 
These are cool because you can adjust the lighting. Right now it's at, that is 100% right there. And right now it's set to 3200 Kelvin. If I click down to it there, then I can adjust it. I usually like a 56K or 5600K. Um, that's pretty nice, right? That's gonna be nice on my face. But we can then also adjust the, we can also adjust the intensity of that. So if it's gonna be close to your face and depending on the lighting setup you want, you can even just have 10% coming in on both sides. And that's a really cool light. These are way lightweight and they're, they are about the size of a credit card. So far, I'm very happy about this. So this is to charge the light. We wanna make sure we put that somewhere good. Put the box back there. Hey look, you know what? Hopefully you're taking better care of your stuff than me. This one's also looking good. Testing it, looks good. I like that 5%. Why don't we take it to that 56K? Sometimes I like to do like a 52K, you know? So it's like a little warmer than the 56K. This is pretty good and I think we'll experiment with the different sizes. These are so cute. Okay, uh, we need this little guy. I'll be nicer with this box. Seriously, don't eat the silica gel. Don't eat the silica gel. I'll just kind of spin it around until it's nice and tight. And I'm sorry, but this is gonna be pretty bad. I'm telling you right now, okay? And I usually don't curse on the channel, so. And here we go. Boom, how cool. Okay, last but not least, let's set up the Sennheiser MKE 600. I really like this bad boy because it has battery power and it gets really good sound. Phantom power is what the one AA battery is feeding it. So it's a condenser microphone, it's very directional. You can also get a little raccoon cover on it to block out the wind when you're outside. We have one of those too. Probably using those in future videos. We are gonna be getting on the go. Okay, all you do is just put it right there on top of the camera. It's got that same kind of slide on mount. And now here we will need to get a little creative because, and maybe this is the one thing I don't really like about the Canon M50, is that the microphone input, if I slide this down, you can see the microphone input right here is actually kind of in the way of the screen. So we are gonna have kind of a little bit of our screen is gonna be covered by the microphone cable coming in here, but that's gonna be okay. As long as we can see enough of the screen that we can sort of compose our shot. So now if we turn it on, let's see what we got going. We can undo this. This is the lens, like I said, that comes with, and now I'm going to have to actually stop and answer the door because my kids are home from school. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to, let's shut off this key light that I had here so that we don't have any key light on my face so that we can kind of get this camera set up. So as you can see, this is kind of a little annoying that that cable's there, but it's all right because I can still see the shot enough that I like it. Now the camera is automatically adjusting to the lighting. So let's turn these on on both sides of my face. And now as you can see the shot, that's looking way cool. All right, so I'm just gonna try it out first. See if we can, what's up with these with these kids, with these chili billies coming home from school, trying to interrupt my YouTube videos. I know they're around here somewhere. Who's this little guy? This is an amazing setup. Look at this, dude. That is so weird. So I can see right here already that I could use a little more light on my face because it's very light out here. Maybe I want the background to be a little darker around me. We have all this light coming in the windows. So if you're in a very lighted situation, you can spin this thing around and let's turn it up all the way to like a nice 60%. See, now I'm getting blasted. You can also play with the different, you could have one light a little brighter on your right side and one a little brighter on your left side. But let's turn this one up to 60% too. Very easy, relatively lightweight. Yeah, and now you see how the background is, the camera's adjusted accordingly with now the background is a little less bright. I'm not like sitting in like this big white background because it's focusing on my face. So it's also prioritizing the exposure on my face as well too. So this is great. And then I could walk around and have that sort of vlogging YouTube style feeling wherever I'm at. I can be ready to flip the camera around on any subject that I want to record. And then also because of the tripod, I can just put the tripod down when I'm ready to stop uh, walking around 
and my shoulders and my, kind of my upper back is hurting a little too much from holding this thing. You can also flip the camera around and get a very nice POV angle and come check on and see if we can... Bronco, what's going on in here? Hi! I'm Muppy! Bronco, uh, I thought you said you were going to help me try out this new vlogging setup. I'm Muppy! Okay, well, um... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I'm going to be the one to test out... Excuse me, I'm shooting a YouTube video here. Apparently I'm going to be the one to test out the vlogging equipment. So tell us what you thought in the comments. Would you like to see more of Veronica napping? Would you like to see more of this, whatever he is? Let us know. So I uh, finally got out of bed. Uh, I don't nap every day, but when you're napping, then you get people with cameras and lights in your space. But anyway, we are on our way to one of our favorite places to hike here in Utah and we decided to bring the equipment with us and take some some footage there with this. Uh, as you can see, this is something that Stephen put on the microphone. It's called the uh, raccoon, a raccoon tail. Yeah, or a wind, a windscreen, windscreen, a windbreaker. Mm -hmm windbreaker or is that that's the kind of jacket you wear right i don't know yeah it looks like a furry animal like a raccoon like a raccoon and it covers the microphone i think they also call it dead cat a dead cat uh -huh. doesn't smell but <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go try out the equipment and test it out again to be the guinea pigs for you to see what this gear works like okay so we're vlogging Whew. so we came to a trail here at hen draper it's called the Mrs. Potato, <laughs> Mrs. Potato Trail. No, just kidding. I think it's called the no, Mrs. That, no, Potato Trail. No, Red Potato Trail. Oh yeah, the Red Potato Trail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we wanted to try our equipment out here and see what kind of um, what kind of audio we get. Yeah, this is pretty cool though, and it's a it's a different way to get on the move, to get good quality audio and good quality video. I'm not sure how much these lights are doing for the shot. But using the Canon, you're gonna get superior image quality than you would on a phone. Um, with that being said, you still get pretty good quality on a phone. And so you can still do a lot of this remote stuff with the phone. The same Joby tripod can be used and is used all the time for phones. And then you can also use the nice microphone with your phone as well too, if you get the proper adapter. There is an adapter that you can get that will uh, make this audio go into a USB audio with your phone. So that's pretty cool. So we live in a pretty cool area here in Utah. Like five minutes away from our home, there's this stunning view of the mountains. As you can see, there's a lot of cool places here in Utah that uh, you can go explore and bring your equipment with you and record your videos and your podcasts if you choose to do so. Like here in the back, we have more of the mountains. Right, we just wanted to take you on our journey. Yeah, and we'll be taking you on more journeys, so make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're gonna be really touring some of our favorite places in Utah because we will be moving out of Utah and uh, moving to Texas soon. So we wanna really kind of capture some of our favorite spots. Um, it's gonna be kind of a melancholy move, but also a really fun one. Texas, watch out! Watch out! The Pod Sound School's coming. <laughs> the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. And the ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to pick at its bum, and they all go marching on the land to get out of the rain. <laughs>